Here in this video, we are going to learn one important theorem of standard 9 mathematics that is theorem 8.3. This theorem is not given with the proof in NCERT textbook. So here I am given you the proof. So be carefully see this video and learn this theorem with the proof. Let us see the statement of the theorem. First of all, you can see the statement theorem 8.3. If each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is equal each pair of opposite sides of the quadrilateral is equal then it is parallelogram what is given in the data one of the quadrilateral say for example quadrilateral that is abcd is a quadrilateral which is given where ab is equal to cd as it is given that each pair of opposite sides of the quadrilateral is equal so uh, first of all you can see that ab in this figure you can see in this quadrilateral AB and CD both are of the equal measure so AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC as it is mentioned that opposite sides of the quadrilateral is equal AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD this is given in the data or it is given now to prove this quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. We need to prove that this quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD given, this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Let us begin with proof. Let us see. First of all, I'll join this. This is a quadrilateral only given. Then first of all, you have to join this AC. So I will write it here. That is join AC in such a way that AC is a diagonal of the quadrilateral. You can see it is a diagonal of the quadrilateral. If I draw this AC diagonal, then you can see this quadrilateral ABCD has been divided into two triangles. Then let us compare or let us try to take the correspondence between these two triangles. So I will take it here in this two triangle. First triangle is triangle ABC. This one triangle ABC and the other triangle the upper one that is the triangle CDA this one ABC and CDA in triangle ABC and CDA let us try to take the correspondence what is given in the data in the data for this particular triangle side AB and for this particular triangle side CD both are equal as it is given in the data so I will write it here AB is equal to CD. Why is it so? I will write it here in the bracket because it is given. Another thing that in this triangle, this side BC and in this triangle, this side AD are also equal as it is given AD is equal to BC. So I will write it BC is equal to AD. This is also given in the data. You can write data or given. Now another thing is that in this triangle as this and this sides are equal, this and this sides are equal for this two triangle and AC is the common side for both the triangle. So I will write it here that is AC is equal to AC or I can write it CA that is common side. So here you can see this is side, side, side. So we should apply as per SSS rule we can say that triangle ABC that is this one is congruent to triangle CDA for the given correspondence ABC corresponds to CDA hence if it is like this that ABC is congruent to CDA these two triangles are congruent then the congruent parts are also congruent or we can say congruent part of the congruent triangle so I will write it hence angle BAC this one BAC this and for this triangle CDA this one that I can say DCA BAC is congruent to that is angle DCA this is DCA why is it so I can write it here CPCT what is CPCT congruent part of the congruent triangle let me say this as equation number one similar way for this two triangle let us think that is bca this one 
that is B C A that means this one B C A I'll mention here that this one as well as this B A C B A C this one this and this that is B C A this angle and B A C this angle are also equal or we can say they are congruent D A C why is it so again we can say congruent part of the congruent triangle as two triangles are said to be congruent triangle let me say to be equation number two now let us write it for first of all for let me say line that is line a b and c d just think about it this line a b and line c c d are the lines with one of the transversal i'll consider that ac is considered as the transversal let us see here ab and cd are two lines and ac is a transversal then as per the given data that this one that is b a this one b a c b a c is congruent to b c a this and these are congruent so we can say as it is transversal then we can say that angle b a c and this d c a angle d c a are said to be alternate angles why is it so as per equation number one we can say that these two are alternate angle and we know that alternate angles are always congruent if two lines and a transversal it forms the alternate angle which are congruent then we can say that the lines are parallel to each other hence we can say that therefore i should write it that is ab is parallel to cd ab is parallel to cd why is it so because we have taken that line ab and line cd consider as the two line and this ac is a transversal then you can see it makes z means this angle and this angles are pair of alternate angle and if the pair of alternate angles are congruent then both the lines are considered to be parallel lines so that way we should write it that ab line is parallel to cd now let us consider for the other let me say here that is for line ad and bc let us see here this line ad and this line bc as we have taken these are the two line and again ac is considered as the transversal then again you can see here it forms the z then this angle and this angle are considered as the pair of alternate angle and pair of alternate angles are congruent then these two lines are considered to be parallel lines so i will write it here ad and bc are two lines and i can say that ac is a transversal then we can say here two angles form as per equation number 2 i can write angle bca is congruent to that is dac and we know that bca i can even write it bca and angle d a c both are pair of alternate angle and the pair of alternate angles are congruent pair of alternate angles are congruent then we can say both the lines that is ad and this bc both are also parallel to each other you can see it again ad and bc are two parallel two lines we cannot say either it is parallel or not but ad and bc are the two line and ac is considered as the transversal then here this angle and this angle which are form which are called as 
alternate angle as we know alternate angle means making z and if alternate angles are congruent as per number 2 then we can say that both the lines are parallel lines so you can see here this we got it ab is parallel to cd let me say this as equation let me say 3 and ad is parallel to bc let me say it as 4 then i can say from 3 and 4 ab is parallel to cd and ad is parallel to bc therefore parallelogram this a quadrilateral abcd is a parallelogram because the opposite pair of or we can say the pair of opposite sides are parallel hence the quadrilateral is a parallelogram i hope it is very easy and you can write it in exam very easily